hello. I really like this background. I think that when you're using Microsoft Teams, you can use other backgrounds too, virtual backgrounds. For instance, look at this. Ooh. There's my halo again. Yeah, it comes and goes. What can I do? All right, let's continue with the definition of a logarithm. Oh, okay. Well then, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my desktop. And here we go. Please remember that I can't see your, your raised hands or the chat board when I'm talking. So y'all behave. Okay. Now the instructions to these actually say to do them in two ways. Let's start with number three. Log base 10 of 1000. Okay. Now I am going to second on, which turns this off. Hello. Off. Clear. 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 Are you sure you want to clear the history? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should save it. Now nah, I'm going to clear it right now. OK. Now, are we back on? Yes. Here we go. Now we need to find log base 10 of 1000. The first way we're going to work this is just to find the log well, let's use the change of base formula of 1000 divided by the log of 10. Enter, and the answer is three. Now let's use log base. I go math and use the down arrow at your computer to go down down up and then back up okay and I enter okay I have log base 10 right arrow key of 1000 move to the outside and hit enter the answer is still three. Well, we're going to work it yet another way. We worked it the computer way. Now I want you to see why it's true. If we're taking log base 10. Uh, there we go. There's another way to write this. log base 10 of 1000 equals log base 10 of 10 to the third power because 1000 is 10 to the third power. Now, we're going to talk about logarithm arithmetic. Logarithms have their own arithmetic. Here we go. The next move we make is you take the exponent and you bring it down in front so that it multiplies log base 10 of 10. So I'll have three times log base 10 of 10. But here's a secret. 
won't be a secret now, of course. Whenever the base and the argument match, what you really have is the number one. So this is really just three times one, which is three. How about that? There's also something else you have to remember. And that is that log base 10 that symbol was changed many years ago to just plain log. So whenever you see the symbol or the function name log with no base down here, it really is just log base 10. So this does have a base, it's 10, but we don't write the 10. This is the log on your screen right here. Okay, let's go back now. Log base three of one over 81. Okay, well, let's just do it on the calculator first. And we've already got it set up. Log base 10 of one over 81. I'm going to put, I'm going to start with the change of base formula. 1 divided by 81 and close my parentheses, then divided by log of the base, which is 3. Enter. The answer is negative 4. I wonder why. You're going to find out. But let's go to log base. Right there. And I hit enter. OK, now over here, the base is 3. The argument is 1 over 81. Log base 3. Right arrow key. 1 divided by 81. There's another way to write fractions too, but I'm not going to show you right now. This will do. Hit enter. And you get negative 4. Okay, that's great. Using the calculator works, but let's find out why. And I'm going to start up here because I'm going to need more room. Log base 3 of 1 over 81 is 81 to the negative 1 power. Remember that? Yeah. 1 over 81 and 81 to the negative 1 power are the same thing. Well, it also ends up, where should I write this? Let me write it over here, that 81 equals 3 to the 4th power. So this is going to be log base 3 of 3 to the 4th power to the negative 1. Now, remember your laws of exponents. Whenever you have a base raised to a power and then raised to a power again, you multiply the two powers. Whoops, you do. So, this is going to be log base 3 
of three to the four times negative one. which is going to be log base three of three to the negative four. Oh, but remember, part of the arithmetic of logarithms is you take the exponent when you've got a log, you take the exponent and you bring it down in front. negative four times log base three of three. But another part of the uh, arithmetic of logarithms is whenever your base matches your argument, the whole thing equals one. So what you really have is just negative four times one, which is, ta-da, negative four. To be able to solve logarithmic and exponential equations, you're going to have to remember these rules. And they're in the book in section 9.4. You can tell, look at this, the ID number is 9.4. That means you're in chapter nine, section four. All right, now let's move on to LN. Oh my goodness, what is LN? Well, first, let's just get it on the uh, um, calculator. LN of E. Here's E, right above the division key. So to access that blue E, here it's blue, I click on the second button, which also is blue, and then I hit the division button. And that gives me E, the letter above. Now to get M, I would push the green button right there. So everything is color coded. It's all very convenient. And look, you've even got parentheses here. So the ln of E equals, I'm going to hit enter, one. The ln of E is one. Why? Here's why. Oops, I skipped a couple, didn't I? Or did I? No, I didn't, it's right here. Number five. Here's a fact. The LN symbol means natural logarithm. And what it means is log base E, where E is a number that's about 2.7. So, when I'm getting the ln of E, I'm finding log base E of E. Oh, but look here, the base and the argument are the same. So log base E of E is one. That's why the ln of E is one. It's really log base E of E equals one. Ta-da. All right, let's move on. You already know this, but let me remind you that log with no base is really log base 10. So we're finding log base 10 of 10. But, oh dear, the base and the argument match. So log base 10 of 10 
is really just the number one. But of course you can put this in the calculator. You can find the log of 10. Log 10. We've got to close the parentheses. Enter is one. For the reasons stated. Now here we have a, a, a blah blah. Here we have something that's probably much easier to answer if you do it by hand. Log base five of five to the third power. Well, part of logarithm arithmetic is you take this exponent and you move it down in front so that you have three times log base five. Of five. But if you've got the base equals the argument, you've got a one. So this is three times one. Which is three. If you like puzzles, you're gonna love logarithms. Right now, let's go put it in the calculator. I'm going to find the log of, oh yeah, I guess we're going to have to use the change in base formula first. To raise five to the power three, I click this up arrow here. Not that up arrow, but this one, which is called a caret, C-A-R-E-T, like a diamond. Three. So I have five to the third power. Now to be able to close my parentheses, I'm going to have to hit the right arrow key first, just like I do in my math lab. Then I close the parentheses. Divided by log base, uh, log of five and close the parentheses. And the answer is three. Now let's go to log base and do it there also. Go down, 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 down. Choose log base by hitting enter. Log base five. Right arrow key. Of five. Carrot. Three. And then move to the outside of the paren and you're ready to go. Log base five of five to the third is, I'll bet you never guessed, three. Okay, now you might be getting tired of some of this. For instance, you might be finally getting the idea, well, log of 10 to the negative third is just log base 10 of 10 to the negative third and I know I'll bring the exponent down in front, and then my base is going to equal the argument, which makes log base 10 of 10, one. So it looks like whenever the base equals the, uh, equals the argument, whenever the base equals the argument, if you have an exponent here, the answer is going to be the exponent. And if you're already getting that pattern, you don't need to bother to put it in the calculator. Nonetheless, let's do it. Log of 10 raised to the negative. Now this is negative, not that, that's minus. This is negative, negative three. Now you have to come down with the right arrow key, and then close your parentheses, and then move to the outside. Oh, I already was. Here we go. Negative three. Either way, it's negative three. And if we were to use the change of base formula, well, that would be harder, just in case you don't remember that the base of the word log all by itself, the base of the word log is three. Okay, 
now. The ln of e to the negative three. Oops, I missed one. I missed two. Look at this. Now this is going to be a little bit harder. Or is it? Yeah, it probably is. Let's try it on the calculator first. Let's go to log base. I just tried to scroll down with my mouse. Doesn't work. You have to use the down arrow key on your calculator or on the virtual version. Okay, now let me take a look here. Log base 625 of 5. Okay, right arrow key of 5. Come to the end. Enter. Point 25. Oh my goodness. That's not the answer they're looking for. They're looking for the fraction. Now it's time to learn how the, uh, how the calculator can change a decimal to a fraction. Again, we're going to go to the math key. Check this out. I love this key. Math. Here's frac right here. That means you're going to frac that decimal. Enter. Enter again. One fourth. Notice it says answer here. Since the last number that was put into the calculator was 0.25, it still has that number in memory and calls it answer. So when it says answer frac, you're really fracking 0.25. We're going to use that a lot. Don't worry, you can't forget it. So what way on paper could we do this? Oh, let's use the change of base formula. That's going to be log 5 over log 625. Log, well, yeah, 5, close the parentheses divided by log 625 and close the parentheses. Enter. Again, 0 0.25. And again, if you don't know that 0.25 is 1 fourth, you can go to the math key and frack it by hitting enter and then enter again, 1 fourth. Okay, now. How are we going to do this? Well, if we're going to do it by hand, there's a relationship here. 625 equals 25 times 25, which is 25 squared but 25 equals 5 squared. So this is 5 squared squared. Ah, but a basic rule of exponents, when you have a base raised to a power and then raised to a power again, you multiply the powers. So, 625 is really 5 to the 4th power. So log base 5 to the 4th power of 5 well this is a little difficult. Is it? Yes, it is, but I'm going to show you what we could do if you were on that proverbial desert island and you couldn't find your calculator. Okay, I would use the change of base formula. Log 5, log of 5, over the log of 
5 to the 4th. And then I would say log of 5. over four times log of five. Now, before you go off half cocked and, and cancel the log five so that what you're left with is nothing over four, and you're tempted to put a zero. No, 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 just hold your horses. You don't just stick a zero up there. You stick a one. Whenever this and this, whatever it is, cancel so that you're left with something in the denominator, it's appropriate to put a one up here. And the technical reason is that log of five over log of five is one. One in the numerator. So this would, I admit, be a really hard way to do this problem. And it's probably better to just do it on the calculator. Either way, you're gonna get the answer one fourth. Okay, we've been going on for quite a while here. I'm going to end this fun, and then we're gonna move on to part three of the definition of the logarithm. Stopping recording, I'll see you in a minute if you go on to part three. <laughs>